Hi, Ed Friedland here, the Bass Whisperer, once again for Guitar World Magazine. This month we're looking at the new high-powered head from Gens Benz, the Shuttle 9.0, and their Uber Bass 410 cabinet. The Shuttle 3.0 and 6.0 heads have been on the market for a year and a half now, and they've become very popular with bass players for their high power and low weight and small size. Plus, they sound great. The 3.0 gives you 175 watts into 8 ohms, and 300 watts into 4 ohms. The 6.0 head gives you 375 into 8 ohms and 600 watts into 4 ohms. Well, the new 9.0 gives you 500 watts into 8 ohms and 900 watts into 4 ohm load. And that makes this, at this point in time, the highest power small micro bass head on the market. But with that extra power comes a word of warning because although the Shuttle 9.0 does fit into the sleeve of the 6.0 combo, it is not recommended that you substitute this for the 6.0 because the cabinets are not rated for this much power. The single 12, for example, in the Shuttle 6.0 12T is rated at 300 watts. This is going to give you 500 watts into that speaker load and there's a very good chance you're going to push it to failure. Let's take a look at the features on the Shuttle 9.0. There's a mute switch on the front panel. It's also accessible by an optional foot switch. It allows for silent tuning out of the tuner output jack. There's three band active EQ with parametric mids that sweep from 150 Hz to 2K. There are three frequency shape filters, low frequency boost, mid scoop, and high frequency attack, which are all accessible via optional foot switch. Around back we have a full featured XLR DI out with ground lift, post and pre-EQ, line and mic level switches. There's also an auxiliary in, a tuner out, and an effects loop. There's a headphone output, connector for the optional foot switch, and two speak on speaker outputs. If you're traveling abroad with the shuttle, the voltage is switchable from 115 to 230. Let's take a quick tone tour of the Shuttle 9.0 and Uber 410 combination. The amp is set completely flat right now. Here's the slap tone. Now I'm going to roll in a little bit of bottom and a little bit of highs. Here we go. Now one of my personal favorite settings on the shuttle head is to take the mid-range frequency and drop it all the way down to the bottom which is 150 and then use that as sort of a low mid tone control. So right now it's flat. You can tell by boosting that kind of beefs it up. Now let's check out the signal shape filters. There's three of them, low boost, mid cut, and high frequency attack. First without. Now the low boost. Quite a bit of bottom there. Now let's check out the mid scoop. Perfect for slap. Now the high frequency attack. You can get a mid scoop effectively by pushing in the low boost and the high boost at the same time. With more power comes more heat and Gens Benz has added a new fan unit to the 9.0. It's a thermal sensing unit and at a cool temperature the operation is very quiet. As the heat increases, the fan delivers more air to the amplifier. 
Now, Gensben's offices are in uh, Arizona, so they were testing this outdoors on a 115 degree day. So uh, it works pretty good, I'd imagine. And of course, it's not all about the slap tone. Great finger style tones as well out of this rig. Like the 6.0, the 9.0 head has a tube preamp, and with the gain structure, you can get it loud and clean or dial in some nice tube grit. I'm going to crank the tube gain, keep the channel volume low, and let's hear a little saturation. That's nice and warm, plus you can EQ that any way you'd like. The Shuttle 6.0 and 3.0 heads were designed not only as standalone units but as part of a combo series. 3.0 comes in a single 8 or a single 10, the 6.0 in a single 12 or a 210 cabinet. Part of what makes that work so well is that Gensbenz took the ultra low frequency response, rolled it off a bit on those heads so the amps were one more power efficient and two they mate better with these ultra small cabinets from the combo series. Uh, the 9.0 however they have opened up the low end quite a bit they've set their high pass filter at a lower frequency response so that combined with the extra power makes the 9.0 significantly beefier in the bottom end uh, and that's why it drives these bigger cabinets quite well. Now let's take a look at the Uber Bass 410. The speakers on the Uber 410 are tightly arranged for punch and directness, but the shelf port really throws a lot of bottom out front. The low end stays focused and punchy, not flabby, and the highs are open and airy, not shrill or piercing. Gens Benz radiuses the edges of the Uber cab shelf port. Shelf ports are designed to throw air out front, and the radius edge is more aerodynamic. Gens Benz feels this creates a smoother bottom end response. There's a 100 watt tweeter level control. The crossover is tuned to 4K. We have speak on and quarter inch input jacks. The Uber Bass 410 has built in casters for easy handling and skid rails to protect the back of the cabinet while loading in and out of your car. There are three conveniently placed edge lift handles on the top. The Uber 410 is rated for 1000 watts and comes in 8 and 4 ohm versions. This being the 4 ohm, you get the full 900 watts out of the Shuttle 9.0. Hope you've enjoyed our look at the Gensben Shuttle 9.0 head and the Uber 410 cabinet. It's a great rig, 72 pound cabinet, around 4 pounds for the head, 900 watts, and man this thing puts it out, I'll tell you what, excellent job.